The 12 cargo ships carrying almost about 350,000 tons of grains sailed off from Ukrainian ports. This even as Russia announced that it is suspending its participation in the Black Sea Grain Initiative. Now, what is interesting is that this is the tweet that's in fact been put out by Mr. Amir M. Abdullah. He said, civilian cargo can never be a military target or be held hostage. The food must flow. The United Nations Chief Coordinator for the Grain Initiative, of course, put out this tweet. And the marine traffic resumed at the Ukrainian ports after a massive drone attack on Russia's Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol on Saturday. Russia had pulled out of the deal that was brokered by Turkey and the United Nations. Moscow said that it could no longer guarantee the safety of the ships under the deal. Kremlin has reiterated the same again today as well. Now, Kremlin spokesperson said that in conditions where Russia talks about the impossibility of guaranteeing the safety of navigation in these areas, such a deal is now hardly feasible. But the statement did not specify as to why shipments would now be unsafe. Now, in absence of this information, Kremlin's statement, of course, comes as a clear threat. It's also at this point of time unclear under what conditions Moscow might rejoin this arrangement. Meanwhile, as one of the brokers of the Black Sea Grain Initiative, Turkey has now stepped up its diplomatic efforts with the two warring nations in a bid to try and save the deal. The Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has vowed to pursue these efforts to keep the agreement in force, despite Russia having clearly announced that it is now suspending the implementation of that deal. With the joint mechanism that we established in Istanbul, we contributed to the relief of a global food crisis by providing 9.3 million tons of Ukrainian grain to the world. Even if Russia behaves hesitantly because it didn't receive the same benefits, we will continue decisively our efforts to serve humanity. Now, shortly after the president's address, Turkey's defense minister Hulusu Akar also spoke with his Russian counterpart about Moscow's suspension of the deal. Meanwhile, this inspection of the grain ships under the initiative continued at Istanbul's port. A United Nations spokesperson also confirmed that the Turkish and the United Nations teams had restarted vessel inspections under the Black Sea Grain Exports deal. Now, the resumption of the grain exports indicates that Russia is not going back to a complete blockade of the Ukrainian ports. And this may avert an immediate threat to global food prices. But shipments could be interrupted again if the insurers stop underwriting them. The Lloyds of London is one such company that has underwritten many of the shipments so far. An executive from the firm said that they are pausing writing new cover for the shipments until they have a better understanding of the situation in the Black Sea. Ukraine and Russia are both amongst the world's largest exporters of food. For three months, the United Nations back deal had guaranteed Ukrainian exports could, of course, reach international markets, lifting a Russian blockade on the Ukrainian ports. Moscow's decision to pull out of this deal, remember, sent the global wheat prices soaring by 5% since yesterday morning.